On this episode of WSRH Extra, we're taking a look at how a local business is funding our school and providing opportunities for automotive students. Also, how our award-winning band is having to overcome new challenges for the upcoming school year. Plus, how a single mom is taking something that she loves and putting it to a good use. WSRH Extra starts, starts now. now. Welcome to this episode of WSRH Extra. I'm Adrian Murray. And I'm Caitlin Clark. Today we're at Calorie Judge Stadium where our field is getting a new name and our school is getting a lot of money thanks to a major new partner. WSRH Extra reporter Ali Lennox has more on the story. This is an expense. We need to estimate a roundabout expense that the customer's going to pay for this. We need With the new school year has come many new changes, including an unexpected collaboration. We are sponsoring the Automotive Academy. We are also naming the field, so we're going to have 10 years of field sponsorship as well as the academy. Alpaca Ford will be giving $20,000 to the school each year for 10 years, adding up to $200,000. Staff from both the Automotive Academy and the dealership have hopes for what this funding and partnership will bring for the automotive program and its students. They're going to bring in hopefully more modern vehicles that we're using right now. So many people being familiar with them and then now they're bringing more attention to us is definitely going to be a benefit. Hopefully it gets their name out there, so students will want to come out and join the automotive program. On top of the benefits that the funding will bring to the program itself, new opportunities are also becoming available to students of the academy looking to work in the automotive field. We are going to have select students, if they would like, come to work in the afternoon, see what it's about. At that point, uh, offer them jobs if, in fact, it's something they would like. As an aspect of this partnership, Seminole Ridge is making sure the dealership is not going unrecognized. It's also going to bring them a lot of publicity, letting people know that they are involved with the community and they're doing good things for it as well. With the excitement the Automotive Academy and staff at Alpaca Ford are showing, there seems to be a promising future behind this partnership. For WSRH Extra, I'm Ali Lennox. As more people are moving into Westlake, our community is growing fast. WSRH Extra reporter Brock Plancarte takes us to Westlake for more information on the new expansion. In the town of Loxahatchee, a new city called Westlake has emerged over the past couple of years. Market conditions indicated that it's the correct time within the individual businesses matrix for development within the area. Westlake is Palm Beach County's fastest growing city and with only 20% of it developed, there is a lot more to come. We have the planned in the future out parcels, restaurants, bank, fast food, uh, a sports facility and a couple of areas undetermined yet. One of the newest projects being built in Westlake is one that has been in great demand for quite a while. We are building a 48,000 square foot Publix and nine adjacent retail spaces with future out parcels. I think it's a benefit for not only the city of Westlake for recreational tax base and sustainability, but also for the surrounding area as people will not have to drive 10, 15 miles to get to um, say a Home Depot or Lowe's or something like that. And the growth of the new city is creating more opportunities for teens to find jobs in the area as well. So with commercial you have daytime jobs for students and others within the area to go to versus having to drive 15 or 20 miles to find a job. As Westlake continues to grow and develop, it will bring more opportunities and industries into the area. For WSRH Extra, I'm Brock Blinkerte. Our award-winning band is having to overcome a number of obstacles this year. With fewer underclassmen joining the winged regiment, they're having to find new ways to make up for the empty spots. WSRH Extra reporter Olivia Evans has the story. The winged regiment here at Seminole Ridge is one of the biggest staples for football games and school events. But there's one thing holding them back. We're, we're really struggling to get uh, like uh, new, new members. Lower than we're used to just because we are a little bit smaller this year than previous past. This decrease is in part due to COVID. When COVID hit, a lot of people, we tried to have a season over the summer of 2020, but a lot of people as an incoming freshman had no idea that we were having that marching season. But also the feeder school programs at the middle schools around Seminole Ridge. 
we, um, the, the, the band directors at both of those schools changed, you know, and whenever there's a change, I know from personal experience, it can be difficult. Although the band faces some difficulties with this decrease in members, their perseverance shines through on the field. Yeah, we have many members this year that are making up for the, uh, for the lack of members that we've had in previous years. The marching band is determined to make this their best show yet. Education and the work that's put in really helps to boost us as a band. Even though the Wing Regiment has been faced with this adversity, they still soar on the field. And for WS Rage Extra, I'm Olivia Evans. Preparation for hurricanes, like our most recent, Hurricane Ian. People stock up on supplies and sometimes even end up evacuating. But while our safety gets taken into account, what happens to the animals? WSRH Extra reporter Brooke McGrath takes us to Big Dog Ranch. In the wake of Hurricane Ian's devastation of Florida, many local businesses and organizations have taken a hard hit. However, some who are fortunate enough to have escaped the brunt of this natural disaster are giving back to their community. Big Dog Ranch Rescue in South Florida is one organization that is making a significant impact on rescuing stranded animals amidst the hurricane's destruction. We have actually went look, twice to Sarasota and other various places and actually taken their dogs because they were had to evacuate. We brought back already 40 dogs from the Fort Myers area um, and we've sent our bus back to go pick up some more. So we always bring in dogs. However, this philanthropic work does not always go according to plan. We are over capacity, probably around 100 extra dogs than we should have. Thankfully, there are many opportunities for people in the community to help Big Dog Ranch in their humanitarian pursuits. We're always in need of volunteers, even without a natural disaster, um, and donations and monetary donations. Efforts made by individuals to support the cause is valued by the ranch, and they assure that nothing will go to waste. All the food that's being donated, we are putting on our bus and sending right up to Fort Myers and all those affected areas. Aside from donations, the most efficient way to support the animals is by adopting or fostering. Basically, once you take an animal outside of the shelter, you are freeing up space for that we can pull another dog from another rescue or kill shelter per se. Therefore, you're actually saving more than one life you're saving too. Big Dog Ranch is working for Sicily in order to provide sanctuary for animals that have been threatened due to recent natural disasters. For WISH Extra, I'm Brooke McGrath. Single mother Lysandra Vidal has taken her love for cooking and turned it into a sweet success story. WSRH Extra reporter Leilani Firetag takes us to the home where it all started. Here in West Palm Beach, Florida, lies a little house. And inside, someone with a big heart. This heart belongs to Lysandra Vidal and her love for cooking. I just like like the joy that it gives other people. People are excited when they eat something that's good or that tastes good, and I just like to see them excited. Lasandra's love for cooking has reached many people, and it all started with a post. Maybe I expected that there would be maybe like five or ten people would like respond to it, and I would get a couple orders out of it. But this couldn't have been more wrong. Just five days after Lasandra's first post, she made and sold 300 empanadas and at least 100 cookies. Behind this store is where the magic happens. Empanadas are what launched her successful business, but there's a special meaning behind these tasty treats. Um, my son, he just really likes empanadas, so, but they're really hard to make. And then one day I was just like, I'm just gonna make them for him. And there was like three extra, so I just took a picture of it and I just posted it online. And I knew that I needed to do that to be able to pay my rent and provide for my kids. And Lysandra was able to do just that. Just two weeks after that first post, orders came flooding in. She was able to pay off her rent, bills, and even send her three kids to their first ever football game. It was just like surprising that complete strangers would help me and just a big group of moms would go out of their way to like support me and my family. Help from strangers is not the only support that Lysandra is getting. Like mostly the, the, the empanadas where we put the meat in, fold it, and then get the fork, cut it down. That's the main thing I do. Although this family had to go through a difficult time, they realized there is a silver lining to their situation. Like over the past, I've just like, cause we started off like uh, not so well, but now like that she's grown so like so much from back then. It's like helps you a lot to know that change is possible. It's taught me never to give up because 
since she doesn't give up, that means I don't have to. I think that if I didn't go through what I went through, like, I just wouldn't be in this place. So I think everything happens for a reason. Cassandra's business is rapidly growing and is taking over as a full-time job. It all started with just one post and a leap of faith. For WSRH Extra, I'm Leilani Firetag. For WSRH Extra, I'm Adrian Murray. And I'm Caitlin Clark. Remember that you can follow us and send submissions to us at Seminole Ridge TV. See you next time.